Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Well, the cold is finally under control and what does remain will hopefully be held at bay by this large mug of Darjeeling. So I'm going to att <coughs> attempt to talk for a little bit longer. Now, this morning, as I woke up and coughed slightly to no real purpose, I was reminded of a conversation I had a very long time ago when I first came to university with a mature student who was talking about how he sometimes quite enjoyed being ill when it was the right kind of being ill. And at 18, with only school experience behind me and the immune system of a healthy young man, I didn't fully grasp what he was talking about. But I was reminded again this morning, now that I am slightly more mature and also have many years of being used to getting up and working every day, not because I've got a deadline, but just because you go to work every day, that there is a, not exactly a sweet spot, but a comfortable spot in being ill while you're, before you get better, but after the illness has passed. As for the last few days, I've coughed intermittently. Sometimes I'll talk for a while without coughing, like I am now. Sometimes I'll start talking and I'll cough almost immediately. But there's no protection to it. And the coughing is very brief. Similarly, I feel a little bit glurk if I go out in the cold. But if I bundle up warm and don't hang around, when I get to the other end, the shop or somewhere else warm, and unbundle, I'm relatively okay, almost straight away. And I don't actually have a headache. So I'm slightly run down. I know I'm less than my full strength at the moment, my full capabilities, but I can do almost all of the things I want to do. So I'm feeling, I feel guilty for sitting on the sofa for too long. And so <coughs> my desire to rest is strongly warring against my desire to get the work done. And uh, when I was properly fully ill, couldn't breathe, couldn't talk without coughing, clearly there's nothing I can do. But also there was nothing I could do that was enjoyable. It was sort of a fait accompli. But in between these two states, there was a period when, as soon as I went outside, I'd start coughing and sneezing, that I would feel cold and shivery, even in my own living room, wearing a thick jumper bundled up, and that my temperature would, for no particular reason, suddenly decide to shoot off. So, <coughs> <coughs> Whilst sitting on the sofa wasn't productive, I didn't feel guilty about doing it because I knew that if I tried to do something productive and onerous and continue on with my normal schedule as if I weren't ill, then I would at best collapse into coughing and a headache and so on, and might actually make things worse. So I think I now understand what he was talking about. There is a sort of period in minor illnesses where it is not bad to be ill. You're ill enough that you know you can't work, but you're well enough that you can take some advantage of the free time, safe from feelings of 
guilt. Now, how exactly you put the boundaries on that is probably a question for each individual. But it's an interesting life thought. So I'll sign off there. Toodaloo.